All right, Mr. Sadko here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, and I killed it, but its body is magically floating all the way up there, and now I can't, uh, now I can't harvest it for meat and whatnot, so that's pretty amazing. <laughs> and now I'm going to go put my bow and arrow away, because I had to use my bow as just uh, rubber banding back and forth. And I couldn't get it with my spear, so there's that. Okay, so we got a lot of room. We can carry quite a bit of stuff. I added a little bit extra room when I leveled up. And we're just going to go kind of crazy on all these trees here for wood. Oh, except I'm dehydrated, and I didn't notice it. So now i got to run all the way to the water real quick. <laughs> My character's, like, on fire. So I'm fatigued. I need to drink. And I think that guy may have just taken all of my meat that I was cooking. Yeah, he sure did. Ugh. Alright. Well. I, mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to build with this thing here. I need it to move. So, now that all my meat's gone, I might need to actually get some more berries. I don't have anything to kill, really. That certainly sucks. So I'm going to be getting hungry pretty soon. But I do need quite a bit of fiber, I guess, for this project. So, might as well. But I don't need all these stones that I'm accidentally picking up, so I'm going to actually get rid of those. When I pick up a bit more, and it's worthy of me throwing out of my inventory. Here's my meal ticket. <laughs> no, that's my body. Physics, that's my <laughs> body. Oh. Stop. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Where is it going? Ah, it stopped. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not going to be able to cook it just yet, because I want to get a bunch more uh, fiber and berries and wood. Uh, and I also want to kill this one. Ooh, it's a 33, so it might give me some pretty decent experience.
I broke my spear. There we go. Lots of meat. We'll eat, like, all the berries I got for now. I think I need a little bit more flint too, so I can make more spears, and my axe is about to break again, so. I defecated again. Pardon me. And I think my, I think my boop ran down the hill. And for some reason, I can't pull out a weapon. Or anything. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. Uh, game's so buggy. Alright, continue. Thought I was gonna have to maybe, like, log out or something. I, I was pressing the buttons and it, was, it just wasn't bringing any of my equipment out. My pick or anything. Let's see how many flint I have. I got five, uh... I might as well just keep hitting this and fuck down with it. Yeah, it gave me some metal too. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to chuck all these rocks. Don't need those. Don't need those. Don't need those. So that frees up a little extra room. And I'm starting to get pretty hungry again, so I'm going to have to cook meat, but I think I might just cook the meat overnight. I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be by the fire like basically the whole time anyway so maybe I'll just for now I'll just get fiber and berries So yeah, we're moving along. But I'm freezing, so my food is going down pretty quick. Because for some reason my character is like really cold. Which is kind of weird, because it's like 27 Celsius out. be just about that time to purge our well we're at 88 weight out of 120 so we can get a bit more but it's getting close to that time where I'm gonna have to go back and just dump it all in my box so grabbing some more berries here in a very thick spot here god I'm just grabbing over and over there it goes This is a big in here. I might get a lot of resources out of this one. No, I guess not. It's so weird how they turn into like a two-dimensional object after they start falling. Alright, now I'm over encumbered, so let's eat berries. Try and dump some of this weight. So I'm not really over encumbered. I'm just like, this is what happens. The more weight you have, see how slow I am. And as soon as I purge this out of my inventory, I'll move like really fast.
Oh, so slow. Uh, let's set a code on this one. Nobody can get it. Let's do like one, two, three, four. Screw it. That's probably the first thing somebody will check, but I'm not really worried about it right now. Uh, but I am worried about this turtle, and it's right here. And I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able, be able to build like with it there. So I might actually have to like remove this first one, and then and just continue because I don't know how to get this thing to move really. I don't think we can. Uh, but we are off to get more materials. Never ending quest for even more wood. Like each foundation is basically an entire stack of wood. And I still don't think I'm going to have it anytime soon, the amount that I need. So uh, I think after this video, that I, um, when I'm done here, I'll, I'll just farm off camera. Because this is what I'm going to be doing for the next... And, and maybe running into the occasional dino, getting a bit of leather and, and meat. But this is basically it. You're, you're looking at it right now. I need so much wood. This is 80 wood for one foundation. And, you know, wood only comes in a stack of 100, and I can only carry about two stacks before I'm totally overburdened. Get rid of these berries here. Maybe a little bit more than two stacks of wood. I, I don't really know exactly, but... I got this stone pick that I never use because it's like a second stone pick and I just I just make another one when this one's gone. Do you know what? We're going to get rid of that. Bam. Screw it. Because I always forget that I have another one in my inventory. It's easier just to double hit one and you just automatically make a new one. If you have the resources, which you usually do, because it's very easy. Let's make sure we get a good amount of thatch, though, too. We definitely need a lot of thatch, so... Let's turn this around just for a second here and sort of... Farm a little extra thatch there. No, in my luck, I'll end up running out of thatch completely. And see, I use thatch to make new tools when they run out. And they run out pretty often. Well, I'm pretty close to being maxed out, so we're going to start heading on back at a very slow pace. That's another good thing about putting points into weight, is that even if you don't have your max weight, the ratio is a little better, and uh, you move a little bit quicker. I kind of wanted to tame a dodo again and make it my lethal partner of war, but...
Nine hide out of a dodo. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but I'll take it. Uh, I'm all out of fiber, so I can't make another spear. So let me pick up some fiber real quick. How much do I need? I thought I got it already. I'm being I like picked up like five fiber. Couldn't take much more than that. Oh, okay, it takes twelve. Yeah, I guess it does. Well that's nice getting a bunch of hide out of the dodos like that. I mean, sure, I'll take that. 14 hide from two dodos. You don't you don't even get 14 hide from like killing an entire triceratops. So sometimes I, I you know it's just luck of the draw, but it's, it's just kind of funny. Hope that whoever was running along don't take my stuff out of my fire pit. He took all my meat, all my cooked meat. Oh, fucker. Okay. Uh, I don't really need to light it yet. But I do need to start cooking my meat pretty soon, I guess, because uh, I don't want it to go go bad or anything. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here, and then I'm going to farm off camera, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm up, uh, I might actually kill that Parasaur too, and I'm going to farm up a whole bunch of wood, a whole bunch of thatch, all kinds of stuff, just cram them in this box, and then when I have enough, I will make this house, but even when making this house, I might run out, because it's just so many materials, I mean, uh, so, we'll see how much I can collect, but I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the show, and I will see you guys next time. <sighs>